VIP Hair Color Shampoo. Hair the natural color. Pakka. Court में नहीं जाएंगे. Next speaker से Mr. M Thambi Dorai. Ladder, you speak. He wants to speak. Who? He wants. No means not here. No. No, no, this is not. Check कर लेता हूँ मैं एक बार. And see the next. No, no. How, how he can? He has not given his name. No, no. His not, name is not there. Sir, you have to give me your name. Okay. But you have to give me your name. Thank you, sir. Huh. Sir, uh, after hearing the uh, eminent uh, lawyers okay. and politicians and journalists, I would like to draw the kind attention of this house to Article 32 of our Constitution. And Article 233 of our Constitution, it reads, Article 32, everybody knows it is for enforcement of fundamental rights before Supreme Court of India. Already our framers of the Constitution well thought out and included Class 2 of Article 32. I may be permitted to read it, sir. The Supreme Court shall have power to issue directions or orders or writs, including writs in the nature of habeas corpus, mandamus, prohibition, co-warranto, and certiorari, whichever may be appropriate for the enforcement of any of the uh, any of the rights conferred by this part. Class three, without prejudice to the powers conferred on the Supreme Court by clauses 1 and 2, Parliament may by law empower any other court to exercise within the local limits of the jurisdiction all or any of the powers exercisable by the Supreme Court under clause 2. So I urge this honorable, this august body Parliament to enact a law conferring the powers to other courts to exercise powers as contemplated under Article 32 by the Supreme Court. So the duty is caused upon this parliament, August body, to enact a law conferring powers on the district courts. My suggestion is district courts are more competent and they can deliver justice. So the, all the district courts of the entire India must be empowered with the power to exercise powers under Article 32 of our Constitution. Then the social justice grievances will be, uh, will be taken away. And, and the diversity in the appointment also, there cannot be any grievance. And also access to justice, it is denied. Because every nook and corner, the citizens, litigants can easily approach with the lesser cost or without any cost. So the access to justice is denied because of the cost, litigation cost before the Supreme Court. And also the delay, the justice delay, it is justice denied, it is a proverb. But each and every litigant is not able to approach the Honorable Supreme Court. The litigation, litigation cost is heavy, heavy, not only because of the distance, but also because of the cost and the exorbitant fee being charged by the lawyers. So now the district, district court is not an inferior court. Article 233, I may be permitted to read, their appointments are made only under our constitution. Appointment of district judges. Appointment of Article 33, I am reading. Appointment of district judges. Appointments of persons to be under the posting and promotion of district judges in any State shall be made by the governor of the state in consultation with, with the High Court and exercising jurisdiction in relation to such a state. So a person shall not do So district judges are being appointed by the High Court. So the district court must be empowered with the powers to exercise under Article 32 of the Constitution. So delay in delivering the justice under the backlog arrears. All will one, within a month, all will be very proud. So, a single solution is a law to be passed by this parliament, empowering the district courts to exercise powers 
under Article 32 of the Constitution, then only social justice. Because in our state, our Honorable Amma, we cannot, without mentioning the Amma, there cannot be social justice. Many, many first generation lawyers that to depressed the communities and also never seen the courts, never studied in English. They became the high court judges. They are delivering very good judgments. So that is the credit goes to Amma. So by training alone, one can acquire the knowledge. By learning, by undergoing the very hard process. So my humble suggestion, very humble request is, I request our Honorable Law Minister to pass a law empowering the district courts to deal, to, to exercise powers under Article 32 of the Constitution. So heaven will not fall down. Everybody is well equipped. Everybody is uh, with God's grace uh, knowledgeable. So I, I thank the I, I thank our my, my senior colleague Dr. Tambidurai. He has a very uh, uh, very he is having very large heartedness and permitted me to speak it. So thank you, sir. Thank you, Navneet Krishni. Next speaker, Professor Ram Gopal Yadavji. VIP Hair Color Shampoo. Hair the natural color. Pakka.